What's good, Tarot Tribe? It's the priest. I'm back with another pick a card reading. In today's pick a card reading, I'm going to be looking at a message from the person on your mind. So, yes, I'm back with a love reading. It's been a while. Oh, my goodness. This reading is going to be a channel message from the person that you have on your mind in a relationship in your life. Okay. I'm even sensing that this could even be a connection, a telepathic connection that you have not introduced into your life just yet. So, Every single card has a different energy as far as the person that you have on your mind and also just the energy and the role that they play in your life. So I'll be looking at the background energy of this, the importance of this, what higher self wants you to know about this connection, what this person would say to you um, as far as their higher self, because the truth is, is you're already connected in energy form with the person that you have on your mind more than often. So and even if you are here and you don't have someone in your mind and somehow you landed on this video, there is one card here in particular that is a person that you're actually manifesting that has you on their mind. So every single card feels like a different energy as far as a past life connection, could be a future connection, could be a present connection. So this reading is going to be really, really dope because it's going to be able to channel and pick up some of that energy. So if you guys are looking to book a personal reading, you can find that down below along with the rare tarot readings that I'm releasing. That is for the Chosen 333. So if you guys are looking for more content, more in-depth readings, you guys can find that at thetarotchest.com. All right, if you guys are here, don't forget to subscribe to become a part of the tribe. And yeah, stick around because I have some pretty cool stuff coming up. Reading, we have card number one, which is the Hermit, the pink card. Card number two, this is the purple card. This is the King of Wands. Card number three is the Sun card, which is the yellow. And card number four, which is the King of Swords. Remember, just pick the card that you feel like is drawn to the energy of the person that you feel like you have on your mind, and we will get into it. All right, I'll see you guys on the other side. Level up. Oh my goodness, we got the Nine of Cups at the bottom. What is this? This is a very, very special connection that you are asking about. The Hermit card, we have Virgo energy. Oh my goodness, I haven't even clapped yet. What's good, deck number one, card number one, the Hermit card. All right, if you guys were drawn to this card, energy's already coming through. Like, I was like completely confused because I didn't even clap and do the intro, and they're already coming in with the message. So. Whoever this person is that you're asking about, they could have definitely taken some time to themselves to do some introspection is what I'm hearing. That's the word. The biggest word that I'm getting for card number one is whoever's on your mind has been taking some time to themselves. OK, but that does not mean that they do not have a message for you or have had you on your on their mind. So I have two decks that I was just literally preparing for. And these cards just came out. Sweetheart, which is pure unconditional love and beloved all right so the person that you're asking about i'm getting a lot of water signs you could be a water sign or they could be a water sign which is pisces cancer scorpio all right and if you're wondering this is a confirmation that this is a pure connection so rest assured and get some rest is something that i'm hearing take a break <laughs> take a break from worrying about this because for some reason um this person not communicating could really put you in a state of uncertainty, okay? So you could even be have been taking some space as well. So we have the headphones here. Music could be very significant. The song that I channeled for you is actually Black Street, Don't Leave Me. So whoever this person is, they really don't want you to leave them. They're hoping that you stay. What's keeping you here is the unconditional love that you have for one another. So they're learning unconditional love is real and no matter what they do you you are connected but something that you need to know is it's pure because if not you may even think they're taking advantage of this and so for some reason there needed to be clarity there for the sake of your peace okay so we have beloved so this is a very sweet and innocent pure connection all right and that's something that they really wanted you to know. Children, definitely significant. You've probably already heard this in many love readings before. I'm getting um, actually quite a bit. So, all right, so we do have Virgo energy and we also did have the Nine of Cups. Didn't even get to channel or shuffle and I got the Nine of Cups, which is a wish come true. So this person that you're asking about, 
or you, you guys are mirroring a lot of the same characteristic traits, and that is your sweetness, your innocent. This person, it's like even if you try to be mad at them, there's just such an innocence, and it's love. And so your spirit is really saying not to fight this love, to fall into it. Oh, my goodness, how scary. <laughs> to fall into this love, okay? And to embrace it no matter what stage it's at, okay? Even if you're in the no contact stage, it does not matter. In the 5D, you are still feeling it so strongly because you're connected, all right? This can definitely inspire or awake a creative version in you to want to express. So if there's a lack of communication here, this is actually inspiring you to express your love. Now, this is somehow going to be connected, and we're going to see how this is inspiring because we haven't even got to actually shuffle, and this person is already coming through. So this means that they could have held out a lot of the things that they wanted to say or clarify to you, um, but they're coming off as Prince Charming, you or them, very romantic, okay? We have the Ace of Cups that is here, and we also have Judgment. So right now, they're actually going through... <laughs> You've already heard this, deck one, card one. This is funny to me. Oh, my goodness. I'm telling you guys, love readings are actually less pressure. And this is making me feel um, very, like, take it easy. This is meant to teach you to take it easy. Be patient. Stop not to force things. All right? This person's going through a spiritual awakening, which is why I was like, hmm, <laughs> you probably already heard this. Okay? Judgment is here. Judgment is here because Ace of Cups is here. Real love is here. Unconditional love is here. This person m does not even understand this. So why is the Hermit card here? Why are they in introspection? The person on their mind. The Star card, all right? So this person could be losing hope, but once again, it doesn't matter what they think. That's something actually that they have to work on, to think less to stop thinking. You're also learning to think less. Once again, lots of mirrored things coming in here. All right, so judgment has been called, which is literally like, hey, making a decision to somehow you guys are connected in a spiritual aspect for them to wake up, for you to wake up to the star in you. I'm a, it's like I'm talking about them, but to you. It's very, very interesting how similar you guys are reflecting one another. It's just you haven't seen this person show up in this light, so you don't even, you haven't even been able to see the light attributes of this person because they've been operating in, in such dark shadow versions of their life that they are, you're waking up the star, the light in them, okay? And this was meant to be, <laughs> to meet, you were meant to meet. We have them, the angels playing the trumpet. We have a wedding we have a celebration, but they're all skeletons, which is telling me this person has fears, deep-rooted fears here, because they haven't seen the possibility. This is getting deep. So this is a deep connection. This is making them have to go into the depths of their soul. You have awakened something and in, stirred something within them. It's the star. They could be an Aquarius. They don't have to be. You could be. Overall, with the star card here being in reverse, they are trying to find themselves. But they're coming, as you can hear. Okay? A lot of genuine, charismatic, innocent. Okay? I'm getting golden retrievers. <laughs> like, I'm getting giggly love. And I don't even get giggly. You know? So, you know. Um, that this is definitely something very sincere. Even with the pink, I'm getting very soft energy. I'm getting rose quartz energy. All right, so this person could be going through healing. This is a very healing connection between both of you. And the Ace of Cups is here. This is a new, fresh beginning in love for this person. And the judgment is here, and it's time for them to walk in it. Okay? Now, oh my goodness, so many things to ask. All right, let's get some energy from this person on their mind. What's going on? Why is the Ace of Cups here? We have the Nine of Cups. We have this new offer coming in. This person is taking the time to really think about this. But at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Cups, a wish come true. Wish come true with the Nine of Cups. This is a wish come true with the Ace of Cups. Your offer, your love, 
is a wish come true to this person on your mind, whoever you're thinking of, okay? Now, once again, you could feel the same way. So we have a 10 of cups is his ultimate emotional fulfillment here for this person, all right? And we also have the four of swords. So they're taking their time to rest, to think, to get clarity. Now, what was interesting is the skeletons being here, they have a lot of fears here that they have to really face and their mind gets the best of them sometimes. They're learning how to follow their heart. Um, and this connection could be the only thing to trigger that because they have never really had to follow that compass entirely. Okay. Now, I want to get a text message from this person. It's higher self. Okay. Because this is just connecting with the truest version of them um, out of love. Yeah, for some reason, this person, they have struggled with feeling safe by sharing things with people, people using things against them, um, people knowing too much, so they hide things, all right? So they've been, they've been in a very protective state. So with the judgment card here, this is a divine connection that was orchestrated for the both of you guys. This is way higher than just lust or sexual connection or oh a wish come true this is part of both of your destinies and it happens to s perfectly synchronize and align which is scaring the hell out of this person let's get a text message from them i don't know what i want okay at the bottom i should be honest with you so this person does not know what they want okay and let's just see what's going on with the energy i want to pull an energy card here what do they mean by this? Yeah, solar plexus chakra at the bottom. They're not confident. They don't even know who they are. Okay. So, oh my goodness. Whew. Card number one. So you are so beautiful to this person. Like you, once again, a wish come true. A wish that they don't even believe that they deserve. It's in, in reverse. So they are struggling solar plexus chakra to truly see themselves and they have not actually gone through what you've went through so you're this person with the judgment card here is actually just now going through their spiritual awakening but they're a bit ahead because they still attracted you so you're still on the same frequency as one another it's just a simple this person does not believe or know in the sense of confidence, like they don't have enough certainty of confidence. They're lacking self-esteem here with the yellow. Once again, who you are, where you come from, all of this journey you have already went through. You already know this because you went through this introspection. So you're inspiring this person. Let's get the energy of what do they mean by they don't know what they want. Okay. Fifth chakra, throat chakra, not communicating, not speaking up. This is part of their destiny to learn how to communicate. For some reason, it's activating their throat chakra for a purpose in their life. Could be for you, could be for them. Let's get what we have here. We're only going to take these calm, inner peace, simplicity, meditation. So this person is being, I don't want to say forced, but is being faced with the truths that they've ignored for so long and it's a bit overwhelming and now we have this ace of cups this beautiful connection here and i want to see why the fords of sword four of swords is here before i get into these other cards why is the four of swords here because it's like oh it's like okay 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 that makes sense because the energy is like everything Everything is so beautiful for what's to come. It's like someone would come along and tell this person, what, what are you sad about? You have everything going for you. You have this amazing person. Your life is changing in a good way. And they don't know how to handle change. That's something that's coming through. They've been avoiding it for so long. It's that when it does approach them and they have to face it, it's so tumultuous because they didn't want to look to begin with. And here you are, someone who is always looking constantly wanting to know the truth you know uh, looking for the light because you know that the light the truth brings freedom right um when you know the truth you're going to feel free and so this person is actually being 
ignited to go into a space of calmness to learn how to deal with life when things do change. You've been learning so much patience with this person, okay? Um, okay, so they don't know what they want. Friendship, team, connection, network. So this is a really, really good connection as far as the friendship. Now, why I wanted to know why the Four of Swords was here, because it's like everything's going good. You have this amazing beginning. Things are actually shifting in a good way. It's just this person focuses and dwells on what doesn't work out, okay? And understand this is like holding on to a pair of pants that no longer fits and getting a new one, but never getting rid of the old one. It's like we they see it as a sacrifice. I have to let this go and la 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 la. I've had it for so long. And so they just dwell on all of these things and they're never able to see the light. And you are a completely different person. You're like the sun. You shine bright as hell. So you're actually lighting many pathways for them. So when they do feel you, they do see you, they do communicate with you, their eyes, their spirit is lit. And that's because you are full of light. But once again, you're the light all because you chose to follow it. This person has to choose to follow the truth, the light. So you guys are going to start with a developed of a connection of a really good friendship. Okay. Um, and you are meant to have a really good friendship. And I feel like that's, that's a really important part of this. We also have Balancing out karma, justice, logic, equality, and neutrality. So there is, hasn't really been much balance in this connection, but I see that there is going to be more of a grounded reciprocity in the near future, okay? Let's see what else this person would say. We have, I should be honest with you, okay? What should they be honest about? Thank you. Wheel of fortune, that they're afraid, that they don't know what to do, that they don't know if this is destined. They're pretty much questioning everything at this moment with the Wheel of Fortune. All right, let's see why that is. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here in reverse for th they have to be honest with card number one? The Hangman, Page of Cups, also about their feelings for you. All right, so they're also being the throat chakra is being ignited and you you are helping provoke this ignition within them to communicate how they feel waking up the innocence in them there is a fear of being vulnerable fear of being safe this person has very deep rooted traumas that are being triggered be because of this connection what would they want to say to card one i need my sp i need space to myself so this is in reverse clarify why this person isn't clear Okay, I've moved forward with, I've moved forward in my life. I want to be free. Okay, so I feel like this person is moving forward in their life. This is not from you. Um, with the, I need space to myself coming out. Why, why are they going back and forth with space? Okay, five of wands. This is something that they're very conflicted about is how much time to spend, how much time to think about you, what is okay. They're go battling within themselves and they also have a lot of energy around them, a lot of drama, a lot of fighting. Um, so they need space to themselves from the world and that's why they're in this introspection. It's not you, all right? So I'm hearing very clearly, it's, this is not about you, okay? This is about them and everything that they're, they're trying to move forward in their life, becoming a better person here and um, they want to be free. They want to be free in their life. They want to be financially free. They want to be spiritually free. And something about you has inspired them. We have dreaming of you at the bottom of the deck. Commitment seems impossible. Okay. And then I have trust issues at the very bottom. Let's get one last text message. I'm having financial issues that are affecting me. Are you real? I just realized that. Um, you guys can get this deck at thepriestdecks.com, but this literally, thepriestdecks.com, I believe. I'll have to make sure I put that in the description. I think I love you too soon. So that's what the space is, okay? So they do love you. Are you real? You are very ethereal. You are cosmic. You are something they've never seen or ever met before. Um, but this person is struggling right now with their confidence, with their self-esteem. Um, with being able to even give to you what obviously you deserve. And I'm pretty sure you've heard this before. It's feeling like you're a bit overqualified. 
okay? This person is focused on strategy rather than love. They're going to find out very soon that strategy gets them nowhere. This is something they have to literally, their shoes are tied together and they are tripping over their shoe, shoelaces, their own shoelaces. Whereas you come in and you say, hey, did you know that you're tripping? And then they're like, oh, why did you tell me? They've been avoiding so much and you've been facing so much. We have polar opposites here. So what does spirit want you to focus on? Card one, spirit, what should they focus on? Compromising, agreement, reconciliation, and reconsideration. Okay, so spirit is saying to compromise. All right, we have three people here. What does this mean? Compromise what, spirit? This reading is going way over. All right, the mask. Deception, pretending, inconsistent. All right, so compromise by removing the mask and being honest and being real about what it is that you truly desire. You're learning something here as well with the judgment. And so you're learning not to compromise yourself. You've already done that for so long. So I, I see that you're coming to a reconciliation here with yourself by simply removing the mask and being honest and you are igniting this also within this person. Merit making, yeah. So goodness, morality, and humanness. So having empathy for this person, trying to see it from their perspective, and also just expressing how you feel. There's something about expressing how you feel because you might not have that outlet to do it. And so with the judgment, I feel like you're being called to another outlet. So this is inspiring some things within you as well. All right. Well, that's your guys' reading for card number one. I hope that I gave you guys some clarity and some insight on the person that is on your mind. And in the meantime, if you guys are looking for anything else, you can find that down below in the description box. Moving on to card number two. All right. If you guys were drawn to card number two, this is your reading. King of Wands. Okay, the person on your mind, let's see the messages from them. There could definitely be some distance here or feel some distance. Maybe this person hasn't really said much. This is, out of all the decks or all the cards, I felt like this card was probably the one that was the most quiet. Okay, for some reason, there was a very subtle energy. Maybe the other cards are very bold. Okay, we have the Six of Wands here. So we have the marriage card coming out right away, okay? You could be committed to this person already, all right? Or you could be in a relationship with this person. You don't have to be, but I'm really feeling heavily that this could lead to that. Now, the Six of Wands is usually the public recognition card, people acknowledging you for your work and your admiration and having admiration for you in the things that you've done. And this connection seems to be a very important one to that journey okay that's what i'm getting specifically we have the page of swords here okay the person on their mind yeah the two of cups there's partnership here there's love here once again for those of you some of you could already be married already be in a relationship if not this person desires that they have a lot of passion towards you you insp inspire them to want to be better you inspire them to want to become a better person to be a leader to be in more of their masculine energy, which means being confident about what they create, what they do, what they have. Um, you're really inspiring or bringing this out of this person, whether you've met them or not. Okay, for some of you who clicked this video and you chose card two for the person on your mind, I mean, I'm assuming you already have a person on your mind. This, this is a very commitment-driven card. Let's get why. We have the Seven of Cups, yeah. So this person is committed to you. Um, the Chariot, let's see why that's here. Cancer Energy, Knight of Wands, okay? So this person deals with inner struggle and inner battles within themselves, having confidence about themselves. So if you're ever wondering maybe about the communication or about what this person is going through with the Five of Swords, they do have a lot of inner turmoil that they do find themselves in and this is within their, their own selves they they let themselves get the best of them is what i'm hearing um and so we have the two of cups so this person definitely feels like you're their person that's what i'm getting 
okay? The two of cups here, this is a soulmate energy, soulmate connection, uh, very divine. We have the little two birds up here, okay? Very, very beautiful connection. But I also am getting that this person could, could have definitely struggled with settling down in the past, okay? Because for some reason, I'm being drawn to the apple, and it's giving me the Adam and Eve story. I don't know why they're bringing me there. But maybe this person struggled with temptation in the past. Um, and I feel like what that is actually is they have so much creative energy. Their sacral chakra, the orange, which is all of this fire. They could be an Aries. They could be a Leo. They could be a Sagittarius. They don't have to be. We have the six of wands, the king of wands, the knight of wands. They have so much power and energy. They don't know what to do with it at times. And so they think they, they're dealing with their own thing, basically. And so that's some of the things that they worry about is not being able to commit to you entirely, not being able to give you what you deserve because of past behaviors and concerns. All right. Um, with the seven of cups, they know that you're special. You're the only one. There's you're there's there's no like you. There's none like you. And this person has looked before and they have not found or met anyone just like you is what I'm hearing. I didn't even expect that. All right, so Digging on You by TLC is the song from this person. All right, so you really inspire this person. Bring You bring out a lot of creativity in them, okay? Um, you can definitely inspire them when it comes to music. Let's see what they would say to card two. One card. I'm waiting for you, okay? So this person could definitely be waiting for you. Um, their love is very strong, I'm hearing. This person, if they didn't struggle with temptation, once again, it could have just been settling down with the wrong people, okay? Not falling for the wrong one. So they might just take their time in really deciding what it is that they want, all right? We've outgrown each other. So this person could be worried. Once again, there's uh, quite a few of you who are already in a relationship who chose this card. So with this card, we outgrown each other. This can be a fear of yours or theirs. Your inspirations in your own purpose in your own life is what's going to keep this together. You guys have a lot of passion and the passion comes from when you are actually doing what, what pleases you in your life. And so this person is learning stimulation outside of just sexual intimacy, physical, physical touch, okay? You're inspiring a different feeling of love, okay? Let's see what else this person would say to the people who are drawn to this card. It's too soon. So this person could definitely fear that it's too soon. We have I want you at the bottom. Let's see what else is here. I'm confused about what to do. Okay, so this person is struggling. They believe that they're bad at relationships. All right, now the chariot is in reverse, and that's why I was very interested in clarifying that with the knight of wands because the chariot means that they're afraid to move too fast they're afraid to get into a situation that maybe they can't get out of i'm hearing not to force anything to let things flow is what you're learning is i'm hearing your higher self is saying you're learning not to force things you're learning to live in the moment to enjoy the moment to enjoy this experience with them whatever time you do get with them now they're afraid to move too fast but their passion and their love for you and their excitement for you is actually what is driving them to go a lot sooner than they would hope. Okay, so their heart, their passion is driving them and their mind is pretty much trying to slow them down here. Let's confirm why is the chariot in reverse for this person's self-love, okay? So this person could be afraid to lose themselves. Again, they could have lost themselves in a lot of relationships they're hopeless romantics is, is what i'm hearing this person will want to give you the world they will want to invest all of their time which is why they're so hard on themselves you know with the five of swords they're so hard on themselves with being able to give you what you deserve to the point where they will forget about themselves and that's why they believe that they have healing to do self-healing to do so now, for those of you who are not in a relationship <laughs> and this person is on your mind, okay? Because there, there's quite a few of you as well. 
this person regardless is trying to focus on self-love so they have a good balance they don't want to lose themselves they know that they give everything that they have and they desire for it to be reciprocated with the six of wands here this person could be in the spotlight could have spotlight um or will be rewarded recognized for the work that they do do they're coming up as a leader people acknowledge what they do all right whoever this person is whether they've walked into their their full being or not this is their energy and they have a lot of independence for themselves because they've had to learn to do that they've had to learn to love themselves because people have fallen short very short this person really has a capacity to love like if you want to feel drowned <laughs> this 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 person will make you feel this way okay i'm getting just looking in your eyes not focused on anyone else they are they would be very very focused on you so in this moment with where they are they're focused on their self-care and their their self journey because they know that that's what brings them the best balance and anchor in their life because they've been hurt before all right so this person is definitely saying they're confused um i feel like they could be picking up a little bit on your insecurities about whether or not you feel like you can match their energy um Let's see what else is here for this person. Whoa, that just fell out. Death, endless, harm, inevitable, rest in peace. Okay, so this person could definitely have had some pretty crazy endings in their life. And so they just want to avoid that happening again. Like they would rather just prevent it and cut it off before it gets out of control. <laughs> oh my goodness, interesting. All right, so we have commitment binding obstructed obstruction and contract so this person has been caught in some some pretty bound soul ties in the past that have made them feel very bound and so they really don't want to it, i don't feel like they're bad at uh, of relationships i just feel like they're bad at when they're in a situation and they're being controlled or they feel like they can't be free this person has so much energy so it's like putting a lion in a cage all right so leo energy sag energy aries energy they don't have to be that but they have a lot of masculine energy they have a lot of creative energy they have a lot of this energy and so a lot of people have tried to tie them down so they do not have a fear of commitment um and they are not bad at relationships let's get why why you're saying this okay let's let's be real here card two i'm so sorry okay so this person is apologizing what are they apologizing for what are you apologizing for you're apo apologizing do you love me you're avoiding the question so this person could definitely avoid some things maybe um i'm grateful for you but they are acknowledging that they are grateful for you and they want to know if you love them so this person may question whether or not you actually care about them like you say you do um, for some reason let's see what this is about what are these fears coming from because both of you guys are seemingly doing that there's an issue here with communication why is the page of swords here in reverse let's clarify that communication issue and then we'll look at the other one three of pentacles um this person is not used to being supported so they are working on being vulnerable and more open to support in their life and help because once again they're coming up as very independent they could they could even be the firstborn um or maybe they had to take care of themselves the only child maybe they took care of all their siblings they're giving me very i have to be have my stuff together at all times so this person is learning how to open up and allow support to come into their life once again we have aries energy twice here with the emperor so this person has a lot of masculine energy i just said that a lot of confidence um and they're being called to being an emperor so let's see what they're sorry about the lovers okay so maybe um there could be a third party situation here which just means that someone else around is affecting this connection and let's see what that is one side two sides there's two people here what's her energy she's only focused on one person but it has another person there okay so 
We have Gemini energy here. There could be some confusion with who's the one, all right? Who's the one? Queen of Pentacles. We have someone who's very independent. That could be this person. You can feel like this person is very independent. You can be very independent. They could see you as very independent. And we also have the Ace of Pentacles. So there's going to be an offer coming in here soon if you're not already with this person. They want to be with you. Communication is coming in. They're sorry that maybe there was a choice that had to be made here. They're thinking about commitment. Now, if they're saying, I'm so sorry, and you're in a relationship already. Sorry, guys. I'm just going to have to be bold because whoever... Whoever chose card two, 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 which two lovers here, it's like there's two situations. There's predominantly you are single, you are talking to this person, or you don't even have to be single. You could be in a relationship too um, because there's a lot of different scenarios here. And you are either single and you're thinking about this person, this is how they feel about you. Or you're in a relationship and this is how they feel. Now, what is this? I'm sorry if they're in a relationship. Three of Wands. I'm feeling like if you've been dealing with this person, they're sorry that they couldn't commit sooner. Um, they're, they're sorry that they couldn't take that next step sooner if you're already in a relationship. They're, they're to keep you waiting. Okay, to keep you waiting. Um, so we have the Knight of Wands, yeah, to keep you waiting. We have communication coming in and an offer coming in. For those of you who are dealing with the third-party situations or very few of you, communication is coming in and the offer is coming in to the Queen of Pentacles. I believe this is how this person sees you, very confident, um, having your stuff together, knowing what you want. Um, you could be an earth sign. You don't have to be. That's Capricorn, Virgo, and Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. So we have communication coming in. So we have a lot going on here with card number two. Now, ultimately, this person is very confusing because they just don't want to make the wrong decision. So let's just get the ultimate last message from their higher self. If this person could tell the person watching anything, what would it be? No reversals. Just straight up, what would you say? It's like you got to just be so blunt with this person just to get, I'm learning honesty. Okay, so this person or you is learning honesty, honesty with themselves, honesty when it comes to choosing what they truly want, not what that maybe they're settling for because of stability or because of this or because of that. You know, you should choose who you're in love with is what I'm hearing with the six of wands and the two of cups. All right. So they would say I'm learning honesty is what they would learn. Now, what is it here with the person who's watching let's get the energy fury yeah so it's it's there's a little bit of frustration here okay a little bit of time has been spent um for some reason you could be looking for some some more clarity in this situation um the journey has not been easy whether you're together or not with the nine of wands it has not been easy and so i want to know what is the overall lesson in, in not even lesson, but what's the experience meant to be with two? We have conflict, difference, disposition, and quarrel, readiness, preparation. So what is this quarrel in coming from? Where is this conflict coming from? Okay, page of wands within themselves. Okay, I believe they're having conflict within themselves the Queen of Swords, and the Page of Wands. There's multiple people around. There's a lot of people here, okay? We have a lot of people showing their faces. We have a queen here. We have a queen here. All right, we have a lot of conflict. And I, I'm hearing that all that matters is love here in this situation. And it's been very frustrating because it just seems like there has been a lot of undecisiveness in um, not lack of certainty I would say overall this person is very grateful for you um, they do question your love for them I feel like 1111 could be a number that you're seeing very frequently and I just sense that this person is having an inner battle within themselves about what it is that they want and they're also could be focused a lot on their career they could be focused on themselves right now 
So there is a little bit of conflict because of how they feel for you. They they feel they love to be around you or they love to be with you. You make them feel like a kid again with the page of wands. And I see that there's some type of solid commitment or offer that's coming in. So if you guys chose card number two, this is your reading for the person on your mind heavily and what they would want to say to you and what's going on in the situation. If you guys are looking for anything else, you can find it in the description box down below. In the meantime, I'm going to move on to deck number three. If you guys were drawn to card number three, this is your reading for you. And I'm going to just say that the person that is on your mind, if you were drawn to this card right now, they are feeling very confident. Like they are feeling themselves. They're feeling very, 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 very confident. Could be a Leo, doesn't have to be. But the song that I channeled for you was Drake, Jimmy Crooks. And so this person is feeling really, really good and confident, focused on themselves. I see um, inner happiness, self-happiness, glow up. Um, yeah, working out. This could be you. This could be you, too. Like, I'm focused on me. I'm just, you know, doing me. I'm going to see kind of what happens. Um, and I'm just really feeling myself. That's kind of what this card is saying. If you guys were drawn to this, so this could be your energy. Now, let me get, I'm going to do this deck differently because I'm already seeing that this is going to be flowing a little bit differently. So let me get the person who chose this card. How are they feeling in their life currently? The person watching three cards. Thank you. I also had the full card here too. Um, so you guys could definitely be taking like a, a leap of faith into something entirely new in your life. All right, um, you're becoming a new you, a new life, and you could definitely be like really switching things up in your home or around home. Home is what I'm hearing. Now, this is you, how you're feeling. All right, you could definitely be feeling left out in the cold from this person. Okay, so we're going to get to that because we have some energy already coming out. Now, let me get the overall energy between this connection. Three cards. This person that they're asking about, how do they feel about the person watching? This one card. Thank you very much. Death. Okay. Worried that it's over. Feeling that it could be over. We have Scorpio energy. All right. Why is the death card here? That's a heavy card. Okay. They're going through an ego death. You could be also going through, once again, you're becoming a new you. We also have the Knight of Cups, how they're feeling about you. They don't want it to be over, all right? They want to come towards you, the Knight of Cups. They are feeling very romanticized, like you're, you're still there, and um, they feel it's like an adolescent connection with you, um, with the Knight, that it doesn't have to be hard that they like that youthful side, like they're waking up something youth youthful within themselves. And then how else they feel? We have the Hierophant. Yeah, I knew who I was talking to. Okay, you guys could be a light worker if you're here. You could be an earth angel. You could be someone very, very, very significant. Even for you to have met this person and this person to have met you, they feel very lucky. Um, we have Taurus energy, so They could definitely see you as a mentor, all right? You are inspiring them to learn more about their spirituality. You are inspiring them in a sense of being a mentor, even in an unspoken way. You may not even know this. Some of the things you say, they, take, they think about, and you're teaching them while they're teaching you, okay? So how they feel about you, they feel like you are very connected. You're coming up as the higher font. Now, this is the spiritual teacher out of the whole entire deck. It's like... If you want to go to a guru, you're going to go to the higher font. But what's interesting is the higher font comes before the lovers. So this is an important spiritual learning, and it's not a lesson. We always think it's a lesson, um, a learning that you are receiving from this connection, even though this person is not directly teaching you. You are more of a teacher than they are. They're teaching you by really not being as active or present now why is the death card here for how they feel about card three okay eight of cups they don't want it to end if this was in the upright this means they would be walking away 
maybe walking towards something new. Now, this is what I'm picking up for you. If you guys were drawn to card three, this person could be walking away. You could be walking away. Regardless, they're walking away from an ending and they're moving towards the higher font, which is you. Okay. You are coming up as the higher font. They are coming up as the higher font, either or perspective. Lots of mirroring happening here. You could have been drawn to card one. I'm really picking up a connection here. Now, this person or you, once again, lots of mirroring, could be feeling left in the cold. They are leaving something behind. They're leaving their old life behind, their old them behind. You are already embracing your new you. You're embracing your new you. And switch the roles if you need to, because once again, it's mirror. They're leaving something and they're feeling good about it. Like they're feeling optimistic about this. The Eight of Cups, um, this is something they were struggling with walking away from and they're going towards the higher font, which is you. Now, let's just get confirmation on this higher font being the person that I'm watching. Why is this here? Thank you. The full card. What did I just say? <laughs> what did I just say? I said I was also channeling the full card earlier because I seen it at the deck. I seen it at the bottom of the deck and I said, taking a leap into your dreams. You may be feeling that. So this is you, my friend. That's the confirmation. All right. So the full card. Yes, this is you. You are in this place or they are. You may even be watching this person, depending on which one you are. Now, you're either the person that left the relationship behind and are feeling like you really want to move towards this person or they are leaving something behind and they really want to move towards you. I also read it as the question with the Eight of Cups coming out, why is the death card here? Is it about y'all? It's not. They don't want to leave this. They want to go towards this. They want to go towards you. For some reason, you're struggling with believing this. Like, okay, they really are going to do, or they're really going to do this. They're really going to move towards this. Now, if you're already in a relationship, in a connection for very few of you guys, this is moving towards marriage. The higher font is the marriage and taking the leap into a deeper commitment. Are they really gonna do that? So this is you and they're seeing you as someone who is following their dreams, being an inspiration, doing their thing, having their glow up, um, focused on them. And it's inspiring them to leave behind their old self and old version, or for those of you, a connection in an old ending. Now, how you feel, Six of Cups, you are in love. <laughs> you're in love. All right. So the person on your mind, you're in love, reminiscing, Six of Cups, soulmate. But with the Five of Pentacles, you're feeling left out in the cold here because of the Four of Wands, the lack of coming together, the decision, the back and forth, the uncertainty, the not knowing if you're going to be in the cold or not. Um, not being connected, not being together with the four of wands here. Okay. So there is a lot of uncertainty playing. So I see that you have just simply been focusing on you because of that king of cups down here. You couldn't hide your feelings if you wanted to, they are spilling, <laughs> they're spilling all over. All right. So that's, that's definitely how you feel. Now let's get some text messages from this person. All right. And see how, how do you truly feel about card number three the people who are drawn to this your person how do you feel about the person watching just from an honest point of view tell us how you feel about card three okay in this connection okay you're in your ego okay you're in your ego and why are you in your ego you don't know if you'll be accepted okay so you're struggling with rejection all right, is there anything else that you want to tell card three? Songs <laughs> remind me of you. Yes, you could be inspired heavily through music. Um, and you could be inspiring this person. This person could be inspiring you. So you guys are communicating through songs, through music. And some of this, even hearing this may be deja vu for you, literally. Um, yes, 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 this connection is real and it transcends the 3D. It doesn't make any sense. And yes, it is a very deep spiritual connection with the higher font. So this person is in their ego and they have to come to the higher font. Oh, what? Like you can't come to the higher font in your ego. You literally cannot even, you can't even get in the same building, my friend. 
so they don't know if you're even going to accept them. They don't know if they're even good enough. So they've been focusing on their confidence, how they feel with the yellow here, the solar plexus chakra. And it's actually invertedly inspired you to focus on your confidence within yourself. It's like, okay, cool. I'm going to be even more confident. Okay. So this person is fearful that you are going to reject them. You've probably heard this before. And you're not sure, um, they're not sure if you will accept them. Now, if they just knew that, if they just took off their ego, that they could just simply come to you because there's so much love here. Is there anything else that you would want to say? Songs remind me of you, so music is significant in this connection. Um, you may be thinking about this person and a song comes on or someone drives by and a song comes on. Um, it will actually be aligned because you guys are playing this love tag in the 5D. So what else would you say to card three? I love you, period. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. This person is just like, I don't know how to even tell you this. I don't know how to communicate this, but I just love you. And that's just what it is. And I f believe that they had to really find acceptance through this. I want to know why is the Knight of Cups here? What has changed their decision? Because they're moving towards the higher font. Why is this Knight of Cups here? Seven of Pentacles. They're taking their time. They want to plant their seeds. They want to make sure they do not make the same mistakes that they've made in the past. Okay. So they are definitely going to be moving in a very diligent matter here with the Seven of Pentacles. They've been thinking about how to do this, stressing about how to do this, really not being able to sleep because of this. So they're trying to be in their glow up energy. That's actually where you are. I might have actually channeled your song because once again, it was Drake, Jimmy Crooks. And it's like, how did you even get in the soulmate mix, bro? <laughs> like, it's like savage. You're just like, I'm about to really focus on me now. So for some reason, this person is trying to kind of like harvest that energy from you. It's not working because that's you being authentic. You've been keeping it real. This person has not entirely been able to do that. Now, card three, can you just tell us why that's the case? You're hiding your true feelings. Okay. You're hiding your true feelings because you feel like you deserve better crazy this deck is just too accurate the priest decks.com hopefully that's in the description because this deck is on point today they're hiding their true feelings knight of swords it's like it's interesting because the knight of swords is besides the chariot the fastest card in the deck all right in my energetic opinion and in most definitions however the knight of swords is going backwards i just realized the horse is looking back so it's like they're trying to move fast while looking back, okay? So they don't even know how to look forward towards the future, towards the light. So they are overwhelmed with hiding their true feelings. So the Knight of Cups is them coming in with the bare minimum of being able to simply just express these feelings. And the fact that they can't do that, they're actually being quite hard on themselves. So this isn't something that they're just blowing aside and it's soup like a breeze and it's easy for them. They're actually being really hard on themselves because they feel like you deserve better. At least someone who can simply just communicate, but they're hiding. Okay, so you deserve better. Let's just see, why are they hiding? Why are you hiding? You would like more time to get to know me. Okay. That's what they're saying. They want more time to get to know you so they can feel safe. Um, and so they don't want to feel rushed in this connection, but they feel like they're leaving you out, that they love you so much that they feel bad. Okay, so what else is going on in this connection? Luck. They feel like they're really lucky, like they hit the jackpot. Look at that yellow. This really feels like you. If you chose this card, you're, you're picking up on your energy. Okay, this person is coming through, but your love for yourself and your energy is so strong right now. Um, you've gotten to a very, very beautiful point in your life to be able to anchor yourself in love. So really, really hug yourself for that. You deserve love. For some reason, I'm hearing this. You deserve love in, a, in an easy way. 
in an easy way. And so this person feels like they've hit the jackpot, all right, the year of reward, that there's fortune here. Um, now, they could be struggling. We have homelessness here twice. Someone could be struggling just to simply find a place to stay or be in a space or have stability. So this person could be fi trying to find stability in their emotions, stability practically, and they're simply just in that place. And they're also stubborn. We have some stubbornness coming through. Someone who really doesn't want to know the truth. Some self selfishness, okay, that's preventing this from moving forward. But they do love you. Um, they do feel like you are a bright light that they've attracted in their life that they're very fortunate for. Let's get the energy of this. Energy of card three in this connection. What's the energy of this connection? Thank you. <laughs> Indecision. Wow. What are you saying, Spirit? Spirit is saying it's not them that has to make the decision. It's you. You may think that there's a decision. The only decision is what do you want? So you must make a decision. It's interesting because we have the eight. Eight of cups. Indecision. Back and forth. Back and forth. You're being asked to make a decision. Once you make a decision, something is changing in this connection. What is changing after this decision? Wow, you got the Five of Swords. One sec. Door to personal healing and happiness is the best decision for you, and you've actually are already walking in that decision. And that's what this is about. Both of you. It's interesting. You're mirroring each other. You have to choose it because of them. They have to choose it because of their life. Interesting. But once you choose you, they choose them, then what happens to this connection? Hostilities are removed. Blockages are removed, okay? There is an imbalance in this connection with giving and receiving, with the yin and yang. Why is this imbalance here? Something about home, something about home stability why is yin and yang here in reverse for the energy of this connection thank you vow wish hope and worship interesting interesting adventure explore passion and traveling it's like spirit doesn't want you to make a vow It's like you're making a vow to yourself. Let's see, why is worship here, though? Why are they worshiping? Mm, I believe that there's a spiritual imbalance here. Stress, headache, pressure, lack of sleep. Yeah, fate. It's fated. Coincidence, fortune telling. There's something here that's fated an adventure, a spiritual journey that is connected to this person, that is connected to this experience that you are having. This person is not entirely open for it. That's where the imbalance is, okay? Let's get the last card for why are you not open? Why do you want to be stubborn, card three? Why are you stubborn right now? Don't wait for me, okay? Yeah, look at this. Don't even, they didn't even say anything else. Woo! Mm, 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 mm. spirit wants you to make a vow to yourself to your passions to your desires there's an adventure that waits for you to explore i believe if you would have anchored yourself in this it could have held you back from a travel or an adventure to come there's a lot of stress uncertainty because it's such a strong magnetic connection here that it's faded it was faded and what was the purpose in in the point of this fadedness well Look, now they're talking. You changed me. I'm focusing on my career at the moment. Okay? And this this may really hurt to hear. Let's see what is the what was the point of this? We have faded. What is faded? Alliance. Trust, honest compatibility. It was fated for you guys to meet. You could have been drawn to card number one because there's a lot of love here. 
idea. This person also sparks something within you. Okay, there's going to be something that's revealed to you very soon about this connection that I feel like is going to bring you the answer that you're desiring. You're seeking answers and clarity um, specifically about your situation. This was a confirmation, but I'm hearing you may receive a dream very soon. And if you're really open to knowing this truth for the sake of your peace, it's just simply spirit. Show me what I need to see about this connection. Show me the truth of this connection, because if it's aligned, it'll just you will, there's nothing you have to do. Um, it's literally under the grace of the universe. And so I do sense that there's something very big on the horizon for you and that you can't wait for this person. And so that that might be something tough, but I feel you've already started that journey. So if you're here, card number three, you are definitely a light worker. OK, you are getting ready to shift and quantum leap into an entirely new version of you and keep at that pace and keep that love for yourself because it's going to keep you anchored. Um, whether people come or leave. That is something you're going to learn. All right, I'm moving on to the last deck, deck number four. If you guys are looking for anything in particular, you can find that down below in the description box. More light. Card four, last but not least. It's like you've been waiting so long for this person to arrive. It's crazy. Really, really cool message I have channeled for this card. Let me first see what is the message. Love message. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. You have a lot of channeled songs that just came through. Um, specifically, okay. There's two things going on here if you guys were drawn to card number four, which is why I feel like a lot of readers are cutting deck four. I swear to y'all. I swear you guys have the most craziest readings every time I get to card four, okay? You have the high priestess at the bottom of the deck, okay? You could have been drawn to another card. I actually feel like there are two messages here for you in this particular reading. Those of you who are drawn to this card, I believe that you are manifesting somebody into your life after you become the newest version of yourself. You're quantum leaping into this version of yourself. At the bottom, we have the high priestess. Okay, I just peeped that. And I do believe you are in the process of manifesting a twin flame. Okay, <laughs> twin flame. Not a fan of labels, labels limit. Labels are for products, not people, or even connections, because no label can justify any connection. That is the truth. However, I'm calling this a twin flame because they are a twin to your flame. So whatever this flame is, you're following a path, you're following your dreams, and you following your dreams is aligning you with this person. And I'm also picking up another situation because we have the weekend blinding lights that came through. And then we also have uh, another song. Let's just get one more for the person that you are actually manifesting. By Desiree, You Gotta Be. You definitely need to go hear that song because nostalgia, for real. <sighs> this person is going to inspire you to be the greatest version of you. Only this person can do this for you. All right? Only this person can inspire this within you, which is why I feel like many of you have not actually met this person on your mind now if you have someone in mind right now tangibly that you've already met then this message is also for you we have two different scenarios which again i said the fourth deck is always the craziest one now two you are manifesting someone maybe you're manifesting someone you already know you have not met if that is the case Today, you're getting your clarity and your confirmation. You are correct about whoever it is. Okay, it doesn't matter who it is. Your intuition is here. The high priestess is here. So if you're in a connection and you're wanting information, you are getting ready to see who your true twin is if it's not who you're already with. Okay, so I have to really kind of like speak to both of the situations here because one, you're manifesting someone who you have not met who is literally a twin to your flame. Your flame is when you're on fire. What happens when you're on fire? You win awards, you get recognized, you get recognition, you get, um, you get, you get acknowledgement for everything that you've accomplished, okay? So let me get the person on deck four's mind, let me get some cards out here. Whoa. Libra energy, we have justice here. Once again, karma, 
I don't believe you've met this person. And if you have met this person and you're asking about someone, I'm going to clarify that as well. Okay. Don't even worry about that. Ten of Pentacles and the World card. <laughs> you guys could be coming from another deck. If you're coming from another deck, whoever you're thinking about in the other deck is really a transitional relationship to this one. This is the one that you're meant to have. And this is crazy, the moon card, okay? Pisces energy twice here on the board. Okay, so what do I mean by that? If you guys are coming here from another deck, you are manifesting another person. Now, if you feel like you've already manifested this person, then you take that how it resonates. I'm going to describe them, and I want you guys to take what resonates with you. This person is a committed individual, Okay, this person is all about commitment. They are all about family building. Marriage could already, uh, mm, could they be? All right, for the people who have already met this person, give me the energy. Eight of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. Okay, possibly. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Two of Swords, two, two, two. Four of Cups. Okay. If this person is already in a connection, once again, you guys chose deck four. You want it to be complicated, so I'm going to have to break this down in bullet points, okay? They are making huge decisions in their life that they do not want karma for. So they are being very decisive. If they're in a connection right now and you already know of it, they are completely dissatisfied and unhappy here. Four of Cups. Um, they've been it. They could have been in it for a long time. Page of Pentacles, not seriously committed for it for the long term so that's for those of you who are in a situation and you're talking to someone they could have just left a con uh, committed relationship and they don't want to get into that all right and then we have now the person that they're manifesting for those of you who are here it doesn't even matter you were meant to hear this message we have capricorn energy the devil card all right so who are they manifesting so the person that you could be asking about this person you can believe very strongly if this is the one for you so this person will mirror you entirely they want family they want the home they want to be stable um, they want to be able to take care of their parents you know this is something that's very important to them only you know if you've met this person or not this feels like justice this feels like you are getting good karma this is what this feels like it feels like good karma and so this person feels like good karma your instincts are steering you correctly with the high priestess here with the moon card here it's activating your psychic abilities to be able to tell real from not real so this person inspires you okay period point blank there's nostalgia here the world is here they're coming after maybe a difficult cycle they desire to travel with you to explore the world with you once again whether you've met them or not you will know because if you're like wow i mean i don't get that feeling from the person i'm with now then you haven't met the person and you're manifesting this person, okay? They could definitely have public recognition. They're coming up as a, a king. Um, we have the queen of wands, yes. So lots of chemistry here, lots of passion that will be here, sparks that will be here. Um, but if they're already in a situation or you're in a situation, two of swords, then this is what you're focused on getting out of. As far as this connection and what this person has on their mind about you, let's get some more clarity. You changed me at the bottom of the deck. Inspiration. Inspiration is usually a sign of what? Your fire, your flame. So if they're inspiring you or you're inspiring them, they are lighting your flame. And as you are both walking in that energy, your flames are lit. You could already actually be in a committed relationship if you guys chose this as well. Okay? And so there's some type of inspiration that's important to this connection because that's when your flame is lit. And then when you mirror each other, it's like two of you being out there in the world. So this is a very, very strong psychic connection that you will have with this person or already having. There is movement away though from low frequency things in your life and their life with the devil card here, skeletons, letting go of certain things. There will be a lot of letting go before you meet this person if you haven't met them already. All right, this is your person if you haven't met them already. This is the one. If you haven't met them already, like you're going to know this is the one. How does this person feel about card four? You are my son, period. I really want you, period. 
dreaming of you. All right? So here you go. Inspiration. But you're getting ready to, you have this desire, card four, to have true love in your life. And you have this desire to maybe meet your twin flame. Even if you thought about, hmm, even if you have a little, hmm, that's usually creation right there right there in that moment of just the hmm is your investigation into your imagination of i wonder which means you're creating okay you could definitely be a pisces here and you could definitely have a lot of uh, connections to the dream world to the psychic ability to the fantasy and so that's step one of manifestation here with the hmm i wonder and this connection is what is inspiring and and it's expiring and inspiring something very beautiful in you and inspiring you to become your greatest version and vice versa so they feel like you are their son you make them very happy when skies are gray <laughs> that's funny um yeah so they feel like you are their sunshine um there's some singing here there's some inspiration here once again passion creativity the wands are here uh, this person could be very intelligent, very wise, very smart. They could want to invent. They could have visions. They could be psychic. They could be inspiring that within you, vice versa. Once again, this is a mirroring connection. This is a mirroring connection out of all four cards on a higher frequency. Every single card that was displayed today has some type of connection. However, this one is very particular when it comes to connecting on a twin flame level. Okay, we have even the red here. There's something important about your root chakra, your base chakra. And the base chakra is your relationships. So you are reexamining your relationships in your life as are they. Because something that they deeply desire is family. This is good karma for you if you've met this person. If you haven't, it's going to feel like good karma to you. This person is going to really want you. They do really want you if you've already met them. You f they feel like you've changed them and they're currently s dreaming of you even in this moment. How does card four feel about the person asking about them who's on their mind? Being with you is all I need. Okay, so two, 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 look at all these twos. 22, 22, 22, 22, 12, 21. Being with you, so this person really, really feels like you are the one for them in this moment of time. We have triumph, yeah, victory. They feel like they've won with you you will feel like you've won you will feel like you have a, a success that you've achieved something you will feel victorious they will make you feel victorious and vice versa that you make them feel like they are victorious like they've won something okay you you are a diamond in a rough is what i'm hearing you are gonna even if they tried to walk away or tried or did you will like you are scuffed on the diamond in the rough that will never be let go like you can never not remember this connection it has left a a little scar on them in a good way so i'm feeling that you have either activated them to dream more and actually make these dreams come to life or they have done the same for you coach yeah advice so they look to you for advice this person could feel like a coach to you you can feel like a coach to them so this person is, they're seeing you, if this is how they're seeing you, they're seeing you like the one. They're seeing you as like very committed. You're everything to them. You're everything that they really want. You've changed them. You're literally, they're thinking of you, dreaming of you once again, whether you've met this person or not. Now, for the people who have felt like they have met this person, give me the energy people who felt like they've already met this person and this is who I'm currently talking about love begins so something has not even started if this if you feel like you've already met this has not even started this connection has not even taken place yet okay and why is that okay thank you introvert privacy separate online community there's some type of distance here between you two okay there's some type of distance here for the people who don't feel like they've that I'm talking about this person, the people who are manifesting this person, even if it's like their second envy, yeah. So people are definitely gonna in, try to envy this situation that you are currently manifesting into the 3D because it's a happy family. 
happy family, ten of pentacles, happy family, the house. They have the house in the cars, and they show up on Thanksgiving, and they're all dressed up in their little outfits. How? How did they luck out with this? Whether you started this or not, that's how people are going to feel. Like, you've literally won something. Like, you found a, the perfect match for you. Now, for the people who are asking about someone um, that they're currently talking to, I just want to get some clarity here. What's, what's going on? What's the issue? What's, I mean, what's to come for the people who have already felt like they've met this person? Because obviously they feel like the one. All right, Ten of Cups. There's some type of imbalance here. We have the King of Wands at the bottom. All right, what's this imbalance about? Ten of Cups. If you've already met this person, there's Ten of Wands. There's a burden, doors that have to be closed, overwhelmingness that has to be cut off of, someone that is no longer in their life or that they're connected to or in love with or maybe they were with. There is still some, their energy is still lingering here. We have a whole king of cups. Now we have two kings here. All right, so there's some overburdens here. There's a pause on this. For some reason, there's a maybe a pause or it's going slower than maybe you've anticipated. So why else is that? King of Wands in reverse. So once again, we have multiple people here. There could be a lot of third-party situations going on because this, and third-party could just mean the interference. Let's see what this is about. There's, I mean, it could be just simply focusing on career, focusing on stability, commitment. This person could be buying a home. You could be moving. You could be moving. They could be moving. So there's a lot of changes happening is what I'm hearing. Um, yeah, wow. Can't make it up. I cannot. Yo, these love readings are like watching a soap opera, I swear. This is way different than doing, like, connecting with the universe and some deep, wow. Third will, whoo, distrust, flirtatiousness, enemy. Okay, so you guys could definitely be in a third-party situation. This person could already be committed, could be married. They don't want karma. We have justice, ten of pentacles here. All right, so let's just see what this third wheel is about if you guys are here. This person is getting ready for something. Do you have something to say about the third wheel? Because seriously, you throwing us for a loop here. Sometimes I run away. All right, so once again, runner, chaser, dynamic here. I do not personally believe in the twin flame being a runner, chaser, dynamic entirely. Maybe... It'll sink and it'll be aligned, but no one should be running and no one should be chasing. It's not that difficult. Um, so once again, this is, this is a very deep connection that is teaching you a lot. I don't know how to communicate my emotions, so this person doesn't know how to communicate how they feel. And once again, we have multiple people involved here. So doors have to be closed, whether it's on your end or their end, before they invest or before you feel like you're investing. What you want is a happy family. So now for the people who have not met this person, how do we confirm that this person that feels like triumph is coming in? I'm lucky I found you and missing you. Totally two different energies here. So this person will be very lucky that they found you. They'll hold on to you, and they're not going to want to let you go in the sense of risking because they found you. It's like if you found the golden egg, would you still be out there looking? Hmm. It's a good question to ask. You, so that's what it comes down to. And this person is not communicating if they're – once again, in, in a third wheel. Is there anything they want to say about the truth of this third wheel connection? What's the truth of this connection? So if they're running away and they're being distant, it, it is because that they are occupying some other situation that's taking up most of their mind. But they can't wait to see you. So even though they're in a third, in a connection, they're still thinking about you and they can't wait to see you. Okay? Um, so this person really does need to make up their mind. All right, it's what it's looking like. Let's see what spirit has to say. What else is going to happen in this, the last part of the energy? All right, man holding a coin. And then we also have the sixth chakra. So I feel like you guys are both healers. So you could be healing each other within this connection um, and attachments. Yeah, taking off the mask. 
okay, you're inspiring this person and vice versa to take off the mask. You guys are both revealing who you truly are, a very, very pivotal, pivotal part of your transformation in your life to who you're becoming and who they're becoming. Very, very spiritual, okay? You're learning, learning that love transcends all. It doesn't even matter if another person is married or in another connection, you can still fall in love. And th these are just truths we're learning about love and love is not bound. Love is unconditional, meaning there's no conditions that must be involved. It's not, you can only fall in love if. The if is a condition. When we remove that, all is possible. So there's a lot of judgment coming through here, not to judge yourself, not, not for them to judge themselves. And yeah, that's kind of what I'm getting for you guys, deck number four. There's a lot coming on here, but I feel like ultimately this person feels like they're lucky to have found you. They have a lot going on here is what I'm seeing. You may even feel like they're very close to being your twin flame. They might be a transitional twin. <laughs> they might be a transitional twin flame, which is pretty much just like they, they might ignite you, but do they keep you lit? Your twin is going to ignite you and keep you lit. And the reason why I'm telling you this truth is because you want to know. You want to know if you have a twin flame because you want to meet them. So if the, it's not them, you would want the universe to tell you. That's the truth. And so this is what you're learning here is what do you truly want? And it's to be in love forever. <laughs> and that's the truth. That is truly the truth. So if you guys chose deck number four, I hope this brought you some kind of clarity. I guess I'll have to just see what you guys have to say here because this is a lot of energy and case scenarios. And it's like there's justice regardless, I'm hearing. You are going to get the love that you deserve and desire. And you're going to know. So I'm happy I was able to bring you guys this reading. If you guys are looking for any more information, you can find that down below. Personal readings, um, the 333 chosen readings on the tarotchest.com. You can find those. And, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next Pick a Card reading. Good to see you all. Sending you so much love unconditionally. Love and light.